back, I tested the most absurd ones. Welcome back, Ryan. A while back, I tested the most absurd one-star hotel reviews I could find across all of America. Well, I found more. And if those reviews from the last video were scary, these new ones are my worst nightmare. My only rule for this challenge is I have to leave a five-star review at each location, but I can't lie. Let's go investigate. <laughs> New Mexico, baby. The satellite view of this Motel 6 is crazy. Who put it here? This place feels like a Grand Theft Auto mission. I did a walk Just around spawn. and there's like multiple things that kind of concern me. Looks like a lot of the doors Please, have been- Please, what? Oh, mission. I did a walk around and there's like multiple- th Lock your car. We are not responsible for damage to vehicles. A loss of content. Things that kind of concern me. Looks like a lot of the doors have been hit with some blunt force. The fence has been pulled apart by what seems to be super strength. I don't know how, who did that. But really, the best information we're going to get is from the reviews. Jason said, I have a high tolerance for Motel 6s. See my other reviews. Five stars everywhere for Jason and Motel 6, except for this one. But this place is insane. Everything looks like it caught fire at some point. I suggest you pick any of the other ones in Albuquerque. One star that's not how this video works jason <laughs> oh <laughs> oh my goodness yes that curtain was definitely on fire strange. scott p said here's nice. the deal calling this place a dump is an insult to dumps it's clear that many of the doors have been kicked in <coughs> police raids most likely whatever the reason i could share don't come here alone one star i seem to have made a mistake damn scott Arnold just said, come he on, angry. man, one star with a photo of his door. The sign says, for your protection, when in room, engage deadbolt lock and secure. Okay, it looks a bit scary. I'm not going to lie. That that door was definitely, I, I thought they were fucking around, but that door most definitely looks like someone tried blunt force to enter security latch but neither of them are there fran said what this is crazy why did the hotel staff try coming into my room in the middle of the night while i was sleeping i had to hold the door closed how rude is that one star yeah i think that's Somehow beyond rude fran that sounds that. illegal hope you didn't I, have I, arnold's I, I don't room know <laughs> about that you, so Fran, scary but that's barely a door I we gotta talk about will... john m the plumbing needs I'm work one star. To and he attached that. a photo of his <laughs> of his own clogged toilet like <laughs> it's completely oh overflowing <laughs> that's his job. stop why did he bro like have you heard of a courtesy flush no, that, he the did that up. you don't do that john no! that's not how you critique the plumbing system he that's flushing. crazy kcf said the bullet holes up. on the bed frame hypodermic needle fell out my sheet you <laughs> smell i was reading <laughs> but holes on the bed frame <laughs> <laughs> and I can't unsee this one tweet where, like, I, I think cats are cool, but something about the buttholes creeps me out because they sit on every surface and I just can't help but see, like, a little starfish suction cup mark everywhere they sit down. And I'm like, <laughs> did someone just, like, sit on the bed frame of the butthole and just make, like, butthole imprints? is omg bonus the cockroaches are not the flying kind so that's good one star i'm not sure you could write a more concerning review in five <laughs> sentences <laughs> clearly the smell of this room is going to be noteworthy <laughs> okay let's do this uh just check me in for a tray hand last name so right? awesome thanks so much what was your first name Diego, awesome. Thanks, guys. I got Diego. my hotel room key from Diego and climbed the stairs to my room for the night. I'm in room 211. I mean, how bad could it be? Regardless, it's time to investigate. Let's go. A few observations. First of all, John M's review already busted it. I had to go. Sue me. Don't do that. Secondly, this desk behind me, yeah, is definitely on fire at some point. Maybe that's a... Chat, surely that's someone doing meth, right? I mean, what's the drug where they melt stuff on the spoon? No, but that's heroin, right? That's probably from people doing drugs, no? That is, that is from people doing drugs. And I just put the lighter on the desk and then they're like, ooh. That is that. <laughs> <laughs> that is so uh, yeah that's burned because of that has to be a drug fire yeah lots of drugs need fire uh ashtray fire i've never seen an ashtray fire before
But for some reason, I may know what it looks like when people accidentally burn the table with their lighters when they light other things. Not related to that. Dramatic way to say it, it got burned. There are ambient sirens in the <laughs> distance, like that have not gone away for about five, ten minutes. But the last thing I'll say. How do you know that? A friend of a friend told me. The check-in staff was super pleasant. Like, they were so nice. They made me feel at home. And also, look how much this room costs. At the end of the day, value is value. You cannot judge this. I have experience. I don't want the drugs in my life, ever. But I may have experienced people doing drugs. This room on the same scale as a five-star hotel. There's still a lot to investigate, but for what it's worth, I'm having a good time so far. All right, bullet holes. Okay, there, oh, there are holes. Oh, God, there's actually bullet holes in there. Holes. Um, is that what a bullet hole looks like? I don't have guns. I can't have guns. Is that, what, is that a bullet hole, chat? Yeah, Americans, you know better. But will I have <laughs> hey, Yep. It actually looks really oh, good. God, I think we're in the clear, apart from some it. ambiguous stains. But the that's pets. all right. Maybe someone was painting in bed. Maybe that's what that is. Other good news, there are no monsters under the bed. There is a hair on the pillow that is definitely not mine. I also found what appears to be a bullet hole in the door. Jesus. I'm just looking at it as a bonus peephole. Or maybe I shouldn't do that. Maybe that's a bad idea. The hotel comes with a beautiful a view of a U-Haul <laughs> and the rolling hills, or I guess it's just one hill, of New Mexico. There's also a guy coughing outside, which is kind of killing the vibe. <laughs> Yeah, how fucking dare he's dying? Can you die silently? What the fuck? I went outside to see if the guy who was coughing was literally having an emergency. How Couldn't dare. find him, so I just ordered some dinner and walked around. Not gonna lie, New Mexico's not bad. I still have a lot to test, but this this sunset, that's a five-star sunset. Come on. Look at that. Big ball of fire. Look at that. This camera's crazy. Oh, it's smoked. Shortly after getting back to my room, I got a knock on my door. <laughs> Awesome, thanks so much. Oh yeah, appreciate it. Have a good one. Take care. Panda Express. Why you ask? I can't see. That's better. <laughs> Panda Express, not only because it's the meal that I ate at the first hotel last time, that was a marvelous experience, but also, I have a goal during my trip other I than just writing five-star reviews at all these hotels. Basically, I have been living a lie for the past, I don't know, 15 years of my life. Basically, when I was in middle school, my friend asked me if I'd seen Kung Fu Panda, and I just said yes, That's and I never saw question. it. I never, I never saw it in the movie. He's a liar. Even Haley thinks that I've seen all three Kung Fu Panda movies, and she bought tickets to the new Kung Fu Panda 4 for me and all of my friends to go see it, and I can't just act like I know what happens in the first three movies. The so Lord I'm gonna watch dropped. one movie per night. That way when I get home, I actually know what's going on. It's gonna feel so no good way. to not fake laugh. So with that being said, <laughs> cheers. I'm honestly watching Shark Tank first. I love this show. Oh, they locked in the deal. That's huge. Good for him. I'm gonna save Kung Fu Panda for bed. <laughs> Fuck Shark Tank. Kung Fu Panda is loading. By the way, if you're wondering about the outfit, it is simply... Jammy time. Honestly, this Jammy motel has time. been great. The shower was hot. I brought my pull-up gear. I'm still trying to do 100 pull-ups a day this year, even on the road. Also, the bed's pretty nice. The last time I did this, the first hotel, I just used the sleeping bag on top because there was some crazy stuff in that bed. But this room's actually really clean. There are still a few things I'm concerned about, but the good news is Why? the door wasn't kicked in. The smell was not OMG. It was more like, oh, which is solid. <laughs> and I haven't oh. even seen a single cockroach. The only review that's still spooking me out is when Fran said that in the middle of the night, the hotel staff just started trying to break into her room while she was sleeping that would be extremely if terrifying and review, Franz did not provide any information as to rules. why she was selected for that I don't want <laughs> could to it be random such could it be a nightly occurrence no matter how cheap cross, it is. It, that it's not happening anyways i'm no. having a lot of fun i'm wearing pajamas i never really wear pajamas so this is a treat let's watch this movie so that my friends how long is this movie loading no, for <laughs> I woke up at 5.30 a.m. to the sound of, honestly, warfare. I slept really well. No hotel staff in the room. That's a plus. I've got a flight to catch to the next hotel. Here is my review. <laughs> TV plays Shark Tank. Albuquerque, I love you, but my heart is in Detroit, Michigan. This hotel looks completely unhinged. I'm nervous. Oh. 
I am now in Detroit, yeah, Michigan, the hotel standing in front of St. Regis Hotel. This is absolutely the detective. most confusing hotel of this video. If you made one of those word clouds for this hotel's reviews, it would look like this. Just soak that in oh, for a God. second and imagine that I came here on purpose. The confusing thing Jesus. about this hotel is that the website looks so nice. The hotel looks amazing. <laughs> the rooms look beautiful. If this is accurate, this is going to be the nicest hotel I've ever been to. However, the reviews say otherwise. Listen to this. Uncomfy, unsafe, 20 to 30 ants crawling around my room. Stay anywhere else. Who if counts ants? <laughs> 20 to 30 ants. If you're reading this, that means it's not too late. Don't do this. One star. Ooh. I'm gonna do it, she Adam. Counted gonna... the All right, ants. but what does Joe P gotta say about it? Disgusting room. Security guard on a power trip. Don't ask him where vending machine is. You might get kicked out, which would be an honor. One star. <laughs> Joe is savage. Would it would be an honor, honor to get kicked out. That is actually a goaded review. Oh, you're gonna kick me out? It would be my honor. I just can't believe it. Like, the, even the building itself looks so nice. Look at that font. Do you guys see the font on that hotel? It's gold. David tried out the restaurant at the hotel. He said, hour and a half waiting at restaurant for our sick. drinks. Can't wait to see how long it takes to get our food we'll update one star there's no update this review is from eight months ago is <laughs> we'll update has has he gotten his food is he still stuck is he still stuck there <laughs> he fucking died david's still waiting on his food i'm gonna find him and finally the most savage one star review i could find is from paul i have found the worst hotel ever have you ever had a hotel room where you were afraid to remove your socks the carpet looks like a living organism i was unwilling to climb into bed without a full body wetsuit out of fear of the atrocities that are lurking in those sheets my shower was so bad one star <laughs> i don't have a wetsuit but i do have socks i don't know what to expect the website says one thing the reviews say another i think we have enough intel to get started Let's check in. Hey, how's it going? Junk Tank is a show yeah, worth watching people beg rich people hand. for some money really nice. to sell more items. And the rich get this hotel is nice, that's right, Ryan, but it's a little too nice. Money off I stumbled upon an art Jesus gallery, Christ. and then when I walked towards the guest uh, rooms, everything started concept. to make more sense. What? is this picture i can't believe they would hang this up this is terrifying i decided to take the elevator to my room and i have company <laughs> kind of loud <laughs> uh, I, I guess they didn't want to chat huh <laughs> i <laughs> i get i get what Sorry for speaking, I guess. Well, that was weird. So I was just in a very fancy <laughs> hotel lobby, but apparently now I'm in the back rooms of Detroit. The back rooms. The, heck? the back rooms. I don't know how to get to my room. Apparently my hotel room is on the other side of this door, oh. but I don't want to open this. Do you hear that screeching noise? What the fuck? Well, I found the vending machine. I finally made it to my room, and just when I thought things couldn't get any weirder, they did. All right, let's play a little game. Two truths and a lie. One, this hotel is freaking me out. I'm, I'm actually like freaked out right now. Everything here feels like a liminal space. Two, I'm gonna have to change my underpants after that elevator ride. Why is it making those noises? And three, this room could really use a blue chair. <laughs> you can guess the two truths on your own time. I've got a hotel to review. I do not know how to describe this hotel. I literally feel like I'm in a dream. The room just feels a little too empty. And why is the clock doing that? Why can't the clock just be working? It's weird because objectively, the furniture in here is so nice. But also there's parts of the room that aren't finished. It feels like it's half renovated. I mean, look at this view. It's so pretty. It's actually really nice. For some reason, the bathroom door is closed and I'm gonna open it now. That's what, you're do that's what you do when you, when you, when you buy a hotel room. Oh, wow. This is actually really nice. The shower looks pretty clean. Brand new tile. It comes with all this free stuff. The water works. Let's see if there's wow. breast milk in the fridge. It's no, no, it's not. It was <laughs> one time. When I approached this hotel, I was asking myself, who's lying? The website or the reviews? And the answer is both. This room feels like the exact middle ground of everything I've consumed on the internet about this hotel, which I guess is kind of what you should expect. What I'm trying to say is I have one star reviews to test. And tonight I'm watching Kung Fu Panda 2. <laughs> so... Looking forward to that. Look, I am trying to become the no, greatest reviewer of all time. Often. Do I want to investigate if there are 20 to 30 ants in this hotel room? No. <laughs> when I tell you that I checked every nook and cranny for a singular ant, I mean it. Oh.
Yes. Honestly, they might be inside the TV. It's being weird. No ants under the trash can, no ants under the sink, the and no ants? ants inside the vending machine. I went to another floor and walked around, and I'm just so confused about what's happening here. Why is this massive room full of black futons? Who is lounging and sleeping in this room? At this point, I decided to get a change of scenery, go get some dinner before I literally start panicking. Ramen sounded yummy, and it was. And now I'm ready Whoa. to test more reviews. There's Clean literally vending ball. machines right here, and the security guards here at the front. So, hey, excuse me, uh, do you know where the vending machine is? I have made it back to St. Re- Okay, maybe that review was correct. Maybe, well, damn, that's just... <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> What's bro's problem? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he meant I felt that I felt that holy shit that sigh I felt that Jesus Christ <laughs> just answer bro <laughs> Yeah bro has personal beef with the vending machine what is his problem? Damn! just hotel. Ironically, the vending machine is not working, which is crazy. Like, none of them are working. Luckily, I got my own snacks. It's a blue raspberry type of night. Mm. I've said it once, and I'll say it again. It is absolutely jammy time. This is really my first time ever mm, having pajamas, so let me have this. While I feel like the one-star reviews prepared me for my stay here, I'm not sure there's anything I could verbally say to express to you how strange this hotel is, but I have come jammy to the conclusion time. that it is nice. It's a nice hotel. It's also fairly inexpensive to stay here which is a huge plus there's still one thing i have to do tonight before i can go to bed and finalize my review and that's watch the entirety of kung fu panda 2 <laughs> yeah see you in the morning enjoy. You better enjoy. good morning detroit first things first coffee and second Someone thing second clock, my review. please oh my gosh i'm inspired <laughs> God, the elevator is scary. Oh, man. I can't wait for the next one. <laughs> I don't know if I'm more excited to leave St. Rita's Hotel or to fly to Missouri. I'll take anything at this point. You already know where I am. Kansas City, Missouri. This is quite the 180 from the Motel 6. Behind me is Hotel Phillips. From afar, it looks very nice. It looks very fancy. However, the reviews say otherwise. The photos of this hotel look... Look at these. Look at these photos. Like, how could anyone have possibly left a one-star review? Hear me out. Hotel Dirty Dingy. Faucets green and red Dinsy. with algae and other particulates, which Rebecca particulates. says is some sort of benign calcification. I... <laughs> Algae and other particulates. <laughs> Benign calcification. <laughs> Yo, Mary, what up? I was bitten, sparking a harrowing allergic reaction. One star. Chris, did you get a college <laughs> credit for this review? What's? Why are we taking this so seriously? No, why, These vocabulary words are crazy. Benign like calcification. This? UPS truck. <laughs> <laughs> Ellie has some personal beef. Until they get rid of Rebecca, stay clear of this yeah, mess. Rebecca makes you feel like garbage, spatters of blood on bed and phone. One star. That's why is it why is it all of a sudden kind of scary? <laughs> I know why. Daryl is our last seemingly normal review. This is a great place to stay until my devices started disappearing and the management did absolutely nothing to stop it. One star. No. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, bro. <laughs> I get it. There's something funny about how it's vague this feels. But then I looked a little deeper and things started getting weird. This is not a normal yeah, maybe hotel. Maybe there's no responsibility. <sighs> Here we go. No maybe, going back. Uh, <laughs> Listen to the next review. From shit. Scott. Room 511 is haunted and the shower doesn't work. One star. First of all, Scott, I feel like the magnitude of these problems are just not the same. And I know I don't <laughs> normally do this, but Steph left a five star exceptional review and said, excellent facility, great staff, toilet was haunted, five stars. I'm sorry, <laughs> did the ghost wipe your butt? <laughs> Why was this <laughs> five star? If you look up this hotel <laughs> online, stars. there are tons of articles saying it's haunted, specifically room 511, <laughs> room 913, room 1513, and room 803. Ghost so with that being butt. said, yep. there are three dire the threats that bidet. I have to overcome tonight. Benign calcifications, so haunted dookie. toilets, <laughs> and Rebecca. Oh, please tell me Rebecca's off today. Let's hope I don't get one of those four rooms. <laughs> I'm actually nervous. Okay. Oh, there's a bus. It's out of service. Why is it out of service? Hello? 
How's it going? Doing well. Good, just checking in. Yes. You just to come to this hotel. Yeah, she seems so mean. What the fuck? Is that true? It sure is. Oh. It sure is. <laughs> okay. Yesterday, I went down to our lower level. Okay. I never go down there, right? Okay. So as I'm down there trying to work, the elevator just randomly opened. No. <laughs> yeah, she was so excited. So I'm like, yeah. Oh, is it haunted? No. <laughs> it sure is. No. Nothing. Just door shut and it right back up. Oh my God. What's your name? Vanity. Vanity. Nice to meet you. Yeah, I'm glad that you're here. You're definitely gonna have a good time. Vanity. Okay. <laughs> Awesome. Thanks, but guys. If you've been what? watching my channel for a while now, vanity. you know that I don't do spooky. I don't participate in paranormal activity, okay? But if any she hotel that so I've been to in my life has been haunted, haunting. it's Hotel Phillips. <laughs> is it haunted? Uh, it sure is! <laughs> Let me tell you some fucked up nice. stories. Your room? True, true. It wasn't Rebecca. It was Vanity. Guys, you can literally so look up Hotel Phillips maybe room Rebecca 511. Maybe Rebecca really this is, is a bitch. the room. It is literally one of the four rooms in this hotel that is considered to be definitely haunted. I'm just a boy who's trying to get elite status on Yelp, Three, okay? Five, At one, least I'm in an exit one. right across from my room. Wow. Wow. Does it feel haunted? No. It feels nice. There are a few things to test other than the ghosts. However, I did bring some ghost hunting equipment, <laughs> including die. a flashlight, an audio recorder, this thing. But I feel like I have to do it at night. And before the sun the goes down, I want to go get some thing? testimonials from the sun. What did he get? A stat finder? What's a stat finder? thing but i feel like i have to so do like it at a, night and before the sun goes down i want to go get some testimonials thing? from the staff did you hear the lady What's that checked me in they're not even trying to hide it let's go get some answers finds wooden stuff inside these walls. two right here were the only <laughs> staff members i could get to talk about Ghost the haunted intimacy. stuff here's what they had to say some people had covers ripped off of them some people have had the sink come on and off all night lights above their bed on and off they couldn't explain what was going on they come down there like so <laughs> is it haunted and they're like yeah this <laughs> day I went down to the hotel restaurant and got some pasta with chicken. Absolutely ghost housed it. It was stats. yummy. Maybe even a little bit too yummy. After that, I played shuffleboard with a stranger. Or was it a ghost? <laughs> no, it's definitely a guy. It's this guy named Greg. And then Can I waited for nightfall. Thank you, Greg, for playing shuffleboard. <gasps> but uh oh, look at the Jenny clock. Pine. It's also time, time to bust Jenny. the ghost of room Jenny 511. Time. Let's get this guy. Sorry if that was drawing. Might have looked really sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna play with my toys now. Just to get this out of the way, the phone does me? not have blood on it. Night. That's a huge win for me. I don't but plan I on using the, the phone anyway, sleep. but if it had blood on it, <laughs> I'm gonna gross. play with my toys now. <laughs> I have also now. left a device outside of my door. If it that disappears, I'm like in trouble. I'm in, I'm in a lot of trouble. And finally, I Maybe checked the shower. The shower thing. is working. Which is huge. That means half of Scott's review is busted. Which means the other half has got to be put to the test. I'm turning the lights off. So I've got the motion sensor set up right here. That's gonna be really useful tonight, but for now I'm gonna turn it off so I can use my other stuff more effectively. This thing is bright. It's me. Right. Oh my goodness. Holy yeah. smokes. That is so bright. I expected this flashlight to be like sleepover vibes. I'm being blinded by a military weapon. I have this device here. <laughs> Looks high tech, right? Let's use it. There's something in the walls. Oh, we got something? Guys, What's that I found something. Thing? There seems to be something spanning across this entire wall right about My here. My oil is hunted. Oh. I need a priest to All the way across. Yeah. The way. It is also there something goes like a plumber priest? So. <laughs> like I need a plumber priest. Wood beams. Oh, this is a stud finder. Okay. So this okay. is pretty much the device you see on all those TV shows. It's like an electromagnetic we got a stud. reader thing. We did it. No electricity lamp electricity basically if scott Whoa. is right and this hotel room is haunted this is gonna go off when the guy or the ghost whoever pulls up this thing's going off it's apparently ghosts reading. carry a lot of static electricity so if one of them walks by beep beep busted uh, beep beep motherfucker <laughs> and then i don't know what i'll do but the main thing i'm trying to say is this is probably my best device actually for the night to detect any wacky activity i'm setting it up by my waggy bed. that way if something goes off i'll wake up in the middle of the night and probably just scream i don't know what else you do other than that. Next, I'm going to set up my audio recorder. Uh, this is going to record like all night, but just for now, I'm just going to show you a test. Yo, Scott, anybody there? So we'll just play that back real quick. Like and subscribe. <laughs> Obviously, I didn't hear anything. Did you hear anything? The main thing is this like is going to be running for the rest of the night. So even in my sleep, if there's any noises, 
This will capture it. Okay, the motion sensor is set up. The EMT thingy is going. If this Don't forget to Kung Fu Panda. Me, I have to do it while I watch Kung Fu Panda 3. Nothing is gonna stop me. Panda 3 was great. I'm officially caught up on the movies. That's exciting. I do have to wake up at 3.30 a.m. to catch my next flight, which is kind of hilarious because all those YouTubers back in the day I made don't scary need hotel videos to find at 3 a.m. Life comes at you fast. Stud right now. What's the oh, stuff? That's my cue. Good night. While I was sleeping, a few things happened. First of all, the light went off multiple times throughout the night, which was terrifying, and the audio Am recorder studying? picked up multiple statements. <laughs> <laughs> that is me. That's embarrassing. The main thing is I'm awake at 3.30 a.m. I'm ready to write my review. Not those sour strips. No one stole my device. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I forgot about this. Good news, Daryl. <laughs> I am now on my way to the final frontier of this video. Well, it didn't get stolen. Yippee! Omaha. 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 This is not my first Omaha. time in Omaha, Nebraska, which Omaha. is why I have this hoodie. Behind me is my final hotel of this video. The final frontier, if you will. Let's hear from Jerry. Four star hotel, yeah, 300 a night, Rebecca. two megabyte per second internet, and one towel. Make it make sense. One star. One Jerry, towel. that was beautiful. I feel like Anne really elaborates on why these one, one star towel. reviews might be coming in. Surprisingly awful. Four star hotel, <laughs> generally dirty, used tissues under desk, dried soda on Ooh. drawers, bugs in bed, bundles of black hair on bathroom floor, gross smell in bathroom, poorly draining shower, tiny window, warm refrigerator, the TV is horrid, remote is sticky and unresponsive, room service an hour late, steak overcooked, they charged me $40, no ice machine, elevator rickety, and noisy, closes too fast, I will never forget the atrocities of room 430. <laughs> the elevator closes too fast. Jesus 39. <laughs> One star. Oh my gosh, And did they do anything right? Holy oh, smokes, Jesus. she just went in on this hotel. That's that's everything. I think that's absolutely everything you experience in a hotel. And lastly, ERT posted this one star review. You can read that on your own time. Needless to say, this ain't gonna be easy, but I came here on a mission and I'm not going down without a fight. I ain't reading all that. I ain't reading all that. I I am not. Yeah, we ain't reading that. Holy shit! Yo, what the fuck? Ert is. What the? F Yo. <laughs> what the? F <coughs> Needless to say, this ain't gonna be easy. But I came here on From a mission, and I'm not going down without a fight. <laughs> Howdy. Yeah, I bought new sunglasses. The one-liners feel way cooler <coughs> if I put on sunglasses afterwards. It just makes me feel much more comfortable. Let's do this. A Kia Court. Wow, this is so nice. Were you checking in? Oh, yeah. oh, oh, hey. Oh, yes, right here, this side. Okay, and the way to get to your room is to go straight through the columns. Okay. And then you'll see a staircase, climb the staircase, and then you'll make a right turn. Okay, awesome. What was your name? Yeah. Jack, appreciate it. I'm right. Thanks. I followed Jack's directions to get to my hotel room, but I'm not very good at following directions. So now I'm lost. Hey, sorry. I'm room 2004. Me. <laughs> Literally me. When chat tells me exactly where to go, and I immediately go the wrong way. Yes. Or did they put sure. it? Can I try it on 204, you think? Yeah, I guess. Yeah. All right. We'll see. I wondered if it was a typo, so I went to room 204 just to check if someone was in there. Someone was definitely in there. I decided to keep walking around. I stopped at room 439. That was fun. Hey, uh, my room is 2000. Yeah, that's a nice room. Oh, sweet. Yeah, okay. I'm directionally challenged. Big windows. Oh, so it's that way? Yeah. Oh, nice. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. I believe my room is somewhere up there. These sunglasses are only impairing my vision at this point. I'll put them back on when I have another one-liner. <laughs> These are the stairs I was supposed to go up. Jack was right. I just have a terrible sense of direction. I don't know what part yep. of the hotel I'm in, but this is beautiful. <laughs> Let's check out our room. See you on the inside. Uh-oh. Oh. This can't be it. This can't be my room. What the heck? Welcome to my final one star. It was a lot cooler in my head. 
If this is one what star the fuck? Omaha, I'm moving here. <laughs> My Yo! friends, I don't think we're in Kansas anymore. How about a tour? There's an entire kitchen. And don't get me started That's on the fancy house. glasses. Oh, this? Just the dining room. The living room. This window Broke is beautiful. It has house. a view of the courtyard. But what really made my jaw drop? There's an upstairs. Bedroom. He literally has oh, a welcome. hotel room yeah, it's got bigger than my apartment. Is this hotel room what? perfect? No. There are scuffs in many places. The wood floors are quite squeaky. There's some gaps in the flooring. The painting has some weird juice stains on it. And I haven't necessarily gotten situated yet. But I am so excited and grateful that this is the final room. And I don't want to get my hopes up because I have an entire night to get through. But compared to the other hotels, first impression is excellent. I am very interested to dive into everything that this hotel insane. has to offer. There's a shuttle that will pretty much take you anywhere within a three mile radius if you just ask room service even though the review was extremely concerning i'm confident from my first impressions here it's gonna be fire first thing i'm testing is the internet speeds i i simply will not believe it if it's actually two megabytes per second oh yes go 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 oh <sighs> i already finished all the kung fu panda movies what do i need it for anyway Ooh. that's so bad all right thank you so you guys just run this shuttle for guests that's what so the nice. fuck? There is no feeling better than walking the streets of Omaha, Nebraska. Who's with me? You rolling? I, didn't really have to play it. Yes. I found this really cool looking toy store and decided to look for a Kung Fu Panda toy. If I had come in here a week ago, I definitely would have bought a Pokemon plushie. But now I'm a diehard Kung Fu Panda you fan. So I'm going to pay money for a toy. When I finally made it back to the hotel, it was time to test the room service review. Hello, can I order okay, some like Getting food? a little Kung Fu Panda is kind of cute. I haven't fully seen the menu, but I would love a steak. I'm so sorry, Ryan, but like... You can't just skip over this for a Kung part. Fu Panda like, toy. If I had come in, how did you find this place? It's just here a week ago. I it's all Pokemon. Thank you, Ruby. Thank you, thank you. They even have Digimon. They just sneak. Is that a Ditto? Is that a it's supposed to be a Ditto Eevee? Look at this Eevee. Something is wrong with this Eevee. I think it's a Dittle. <laughs> I don't think that's an Eevee. I think that's a Dittle. It is his dear storage. Holy shit, this is... You can't just skip over this. I need Nelly everything. I would have bought a Pokemon plushie, but now I'm a diehard Kung Fu Panda fan. Look at it. Not that, get that shit out of my For face. a week ago, I definitely would have bought a Pokemon plushie, but now I... Is Patrick Minions? <laughs> Random puppies? What the fuck? A SpongeBob? Is this Paw Patrol or something? Dude, this is sick! <laughs> My little pony over here? There? E -e -e. I'm a diehard Kung Fu Panda fan, so I'm gonna pay money for a toy of it. When I finally made it back to the hotel, it was time to test the room service it's review. Hello, up. can I order some food? Awesome. So what are we I haven't up. fully seen the menu, but I would love a steak. Like Anything but overcooked. <laughs> well, that kind of goes. Like a medium rare medium? Yeah, medium would be awesome. Awesome. I would say probably about 20 to 30 minutes. 20 to 30 minutes. Awesome. Thank you. A totally not overcooked steak is on the way. See you in 20 to 30 minutes. <laughs> this is all you. Awesome. Thanks so much. Dinner is served. It's crazy, but this dinner is Holy half the shit. price of this hotel room. I can't tell if that's Come a on. good deal or a bad deal, but it's happening. <laughs> First, we have steak. That'd That's actually be crazy if it was overcooked. We also Holy have shit. a ton of french fries, Holy just like shit. I asked. I still have the palate of an eight-year-old, and that's okay. <laughs> Busca. <laughs> That's Busca's line right there. We also have a ton of french fries, just like I asked. I still have the palate of an eight-year-old, and that's okay. It's so weird. I don't have a Kung Fu Panda to watch tonight. Okay. Who's gonna eat well, it's all definitely that? not overcooked. Jesus. I asked for medium rare. That looks pretty good to me. Hey, to Omaha. That looks like a good steak, though. That looks That's really good. good. Look if you're new here and you're wondering bro. what I've been snacking on throughout this video, this is my candy brand, Joyride. As of right now, we have sour strips, and very soon, we are releasing new candies. The reason we're making new candies in the first place is because we've got the attention of retailers. Wow. I can't say who yet, but in the coming months, the best candy on earth is making its way to a store near you. If you want to keep up to date and be the first to know when we restock our sour strips and launch our new candies, follow us on Instagram. I'm trying to pass Sour Patch Kids and followers. Thank you guys so much for the support on Joyride so far. It literally means the world. 
Like, it's crazy. Okay. I'm so grateful. I'd eat this for dinner if I could. That would be irresponsible. I'm gonna finish my meal, and then I'm gonna go get some free yeah, milk and cookies from my one-star hotel. <laughs> Whatever. Good fucking luck, bro. Trade offer. I nah, he cheated. He cheated. You see that shit? You, you, he cheated. That was a cut right there. He cheated. He cheated. That was a cut right there. That was a You see that shit? He fucking... He could not finish it. He went from... To... The... Uh, bro cheated. I see... I know what you... You cheated. You got caught cheating. I was like, no fucking way this man can put away all this food. No fucking way. I'm fucking possible. He cheated. He made it look like. He made it. He made it look like. Nah, -uh. caught. I caught you, Ryan. Trade offer. I get jamming time. You get to watch me eat milk and cookies. Oh, wait, I, I, I want jammy time too. I want beep beep. Can I have jammy time? I too want jammy time. Hello, chat. Tell me time. Take your time. Tell me time. Have milk and cookies. <laughs> All right. Good. Let's go. I poured myself a tall glass of cold milk, collected a couple cookies, and ate them in the lobby in my pajamas. I'm happy. How does he still eat after what he just he just he just demolished? I whatever, bro. I respect it. Having a great night. Hey, I got the milk and cookies. Jack's the best. <laughs> Jack, five stars. Cheers. <laughs> Thanks so much. You Have a good one. <laughs> What's up, guys? I got a full tummy. I actually think I ate way too much tonight. It's a little concerning. Yeah, no I'm, I'm having fun. I'm a little bit sad that I'm the journey is coming to an Ryan. end. This is the last hotel, but I am really excited because. So he ate like he ate like what I eat in like two days, bro. He, he ate what I eat in, in like two days in like one go. When I go home, Holy shit. I get to watch a movie with my friends. And I'm actually going to know what's going Ryan on. Ryan is because crazy. Because I watched the first three movies on this trip. No, I'm actually really looking forward to it. Can, I'm you gonna can go to eat more if you eat at three times right speed. <laughs> Sweet dreams. Gentlemen, straight guy, weekend. but he is handsome. He is, right? Twelve deep, His all in our jammies too. to watch There's Kung Fu Panda Four. People. The best part? I don't have to lie anymore that I've seen the other movies. They I cannot describe so how good handsome. it feels to walk into this movie without they got imposter beautiful syndrome, faces and it would not have been possible smiles. without my journey in this video. The movie was fire. The Thanks for watching, everybody. Like watch another video. Gosh. YouTube thinks you. <laughs> Stop! You can't say that. He's beautiful. <laughs> Stamina, my na, eh, 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 waka, waka, eh, eh, stamina, my na, blam, 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 blam,